great pleasure for me to be here at this exhibition and I look forward to seeing all these photographs, some of which I first saw in the book Vanishing Tribes of Burma, way back during one of my terms of house arrest. My family brought me a copy of the book and I was struck by the beauty of our people and the beauty of diversity. This is what we have to recognize, that diversity is beauty, it is beautiful. I am very glad that Mr. Durham mentioned national reconciliation in his speech. National re reconciliation is what we have been working at for decades in order that our whole country may be at peace and all our peoples may be able to enjoy the beauty of our country. Art is a way of reaching out to people's hearts, to make them understand that beauty comes in different forms and the more we open up our minds, the more likely we are to learn from our surroundings that this world is worth preserving. Preserving, but of course, with the right kind of changes. We do not want to preserve our society as a fly in amber. We want our society to be moving and to be progressing and to be revealing its beauty step by step, like a bird in flight. Our peoples are so beautiful. I'm grateful to Mr. Durant and all like him who have worked so hard to preserve what will certainly vanish from our world. But even though some of our peoples may lose some of their cultural heritage, I think we must preserve the memory of that heritage. And this, these photographs managed to do beautifully. The ornaments of our peoples demonstrate their innate sense of artistry. It also demonstrates that we have our own view of the world and we express it in different ways. But these ways need not clash. These ways can be complementary. These ways can work towards peace by working in harmony. I am very grateful to the Swedish Foundation for Peace and Arbitration for supporting this exhibition. Peace and arbitration, or rather peace through arbitration, is what we all aim at in this country. There has never been a time since independence when the whole country has been at peace. And since we gained independence in 1948, it means that many of our people have been born into times when there was no peace in the country, not absolute peace. That is what we wish to achieve. And true peace comes from the heart. True peace comes from the acceptance that we all have to live together, that we all have to work together for our prosperity, for our future. This sense of togetherness can be strengthened by exhibitions such as this, which show to us that we can be proud of our heritage, that we can be proud to belong to a nation of diverse peoples, of diverse cultures, of diverse languages, and we can be proud to be able to meet the challenges that such diversity throws up. Burma is at a crossroads. We can choose now whether we go the way of genuine democracy and respect for human rights that will preserve our union in peace and prosperity. And I would like to conclude by thanking all those who have made this exhibition possible, and particularly Mr. Richard Durham for bringing beauty into my life at an unexpected time and for adding to the understanding of our country by the world in general.